Hello everyone, welcome to the first part in what will probably be a three-part series on how to make a scrolling space shooter game. Uh, it doesn't have to be in space, but mine will be in space. And uh, the first part will be making our sprite, our background, and enemies. The second part will be um, having fuel cells that we can collect, sort of makes the game a bit more interesting. And the third part will be a boss coming in for us to fight when we get to a certain amount of points. Um, so let's get started. The first thing we'll need is an extension. So if we go into extensions here and scroll down until we find arcade background scroll. Once that's loaded up, uh, we're going to make our background. So in scene, we have the set background image, drag it up. And what you're trying to do is make a background that'll look nice when you scroll it. So for example, you could have a field of stars. And I'll just quickly make one and then show you what one. Quickly make one and then show you what it looks like. So we get the scroller and scroll background. And I'll just we'll change the VX to zero because we don't want it to be scrolling horizontally. And then we'll change the VY to 10. So it scrolls downwards. So we want something that look a bit like this when it scrolls. So notice how all the edges are filled in and it just slowly, it's slowly moving and you want it to make sure it is like continuous to the side. So nothing too complicated is the trick here. Um, usually a nice simple background like this works, but you don't have too much going on because it'll make it harder to see our enemies coming in and all that sort of stuff. So nice and simple is the trick. Our next step is to add our player sprite. So we'll grab this set my sprite, drag that out, and I've already drawn mine because I thought it'd be easier for the video. There we are. So there's our little sprite on our tile map. Oh, now background. Um, notice how even though the sprite is still, it looks like it's moving forward because the stars are moving down. This is the the tricky part. Um, things that are still are moving forward, and if you want things to move downwards on the screen, like in the same direction as the stars, they have to go faster than the stars. So the stars are moving at 10 here, so they'll need to go faster than the stars to look like they're moving down. Um, if they move at the same speed at 10, it will look like they're stationary while we move forward past it. So it's a bit confusing, but we'll work through it. Um, I want to be able to move my character, so I'll grab this move my sprite with buttons. And there we are. We have our little, our little spaceship flying around. Notice how I can go out of the screen, so the next block we'll add in is in sprites. This my sprites stay in the screen. This just locks it inside the screen, so we can't go flying out. There we are. So no matter how hard I try, I'm stuck inside the screen. Um, I want my sprite to start down the bottom of the screen instead of in the center. So I'm going to go in the sprites, this set my sprite, and I'm going to change it from X to Y, and I'll set its Y to 100. So Y, X is across and Y is up and down. So there we are. So it's just set much lower down the screen. Uh, that's our initial setup. So we have our um, our sprite going. We can move him around. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is make him able to shoot. Um, so if you want the controller, and grab out this on A button pressed, and we're going to go into sprites and set projectile from my sprite. Make sure you have this from my sprite because from side won't work. Click this one here. And draw a projectile in here. I've already drawn mine. It's just a little, just a little guy. <laughs> yeah, but notice how they're going downwards. So we're going to change VX to zero. X is across, and we don't want it to be going across. We want it to go vertically up. So we'll go to negative 100. So it goes up with a nice speed. There we are. We 
have our projectiles. Um, the next step and the last step to this video is to add enemies. Um, so if we go into game and drag out this on game update, um, and now you can choose how often you want your enemies to come out. I'm going to go with two seconds so it isn't too quick for a start. It makes it easier to show as well. Um, so on game update, every two seconds, we want to set projectile from side of screen. So we want the enemies coming in from the top of the screen towards us. We'll drag that one out there. Yeah, to set enemy. Oh, oops, can't spell. Set enemy. Oh, enemy one. Two. And I already draw my little enemies, but you can draw them however you want. Projectile from the side. So we'll see them flying in here. There we are. So little enemies. Our little alien spaceships. And we want to set the VX to zero again. And I keep the VY at 50, so you can see. We'll see them coming down at the speed here. So that's the speed we have to shoot them at. Um, but we don't want them coming down the side. We want them to come from random positions along the top of the screen. So we go into sprites and set my sprite X. And then we'll go into math. Pick random. And we'll put it from 5 to 155. Um, this is because the screen is from 0 to 160. So you want it to be not too far to the edge of the screen. So maybe we'll actually go 10 to 150. Let's begin. Oh, that's what we want. Enemy 1. Hit enemy 1x. Don't set your own position. There you go. So there's one enemy coming down. They'll come down from random positions. There we are. Um, the next step is to set the enemy's kind. Because at the moment they're projectiles, but that makes it a bit tricky when we want um, to be able to shoot them in the end. So in sprites, we want to set kind. So set enemy one kind to enemy. This is so the game knows that these are enemies and when a bullet hits them we want them to die. Um, next we go into this on sprite of kind and the overlaps one. Change it from projectile to enemy. So when a projectile, so our little bullets we shoot, when one of those hits oh, not enemy, food, enemy. When it hits an enemy, we want to destroy our projectile. So destroy sprite, and then copy this, and destroy other sprite, so destroy the enemy. And then if we go into info, we want to change the score by one. So we want to get one point when we kill an enemy. So if we quickly test that, and I shoot an enemy, I'll get one point up here. And both my projectile and the enemy disappear. There we are. Um, the next step is you see if we crash into another spaceship, nothing happens. So if we go in here and grab out another one of these on sprite of kind player over that sprite of kind enemy, we want to destroy the enemy. And in info, we want to change our life by one. We want to lose one life. And that's our basic setup. So we have our spaceship. We can shoot the enemies. If we crash into them, we lose a life. Um, oh, if you want your lives to show up from the start, um, just the game, we'll go to our start block in info. Drag in the set life to three. Then you can choose how many lives you have as well. I'm going to stick with three, but if we open up our code, we can see we have three lives. And if we crash, we go down to two, down to one, and oh, game over. <laughs> so there's our basic setup. Um, in the next episode, we'll do a little bit um, on fuel. 
So we'll have a, a fuel counter here. And once we run out of fuel, we lose. So we have to collect fuel as we fly around and fight our enemies. So I'll see you in the next part. Yeah.